Hello, women of the ELCA, dear sisters in Christ. This is Bishop Bill Guffian from the Indiana Kentucky Synod bringing you greetings from my office a week or so before your assembly. I wish I could be with you this weekend, but this weekend I'm with our Synod Council at their orientation retreat at the Benedict Inn on the south side of Indianapolis. This is a great way for me to be with you and to bring greetings to you, uh, even if I can't be there with you in person. I am grateful that Carolyn Lesmeister, our assistant to the bishop for young adult ministry, is there with you, and I hope that you'll take opportunity to get to know her this weekend and learn from her how she might assist you in young adult ministry as women of the ELCA and this synod as well. I'm grateful also for the theme under which you gather, rejoicing in your renewal. It's interesting that sometimes renewal is not so easy to rejoice in. By definition, it means changing what we've been doing. Sometimes it means losses. Sometimes it means challenges to calling us to do things that we've never done before. And yet there you are gathered in Fort Wayne rejoicing in God's renewal in your midst, in our midst, as the Indiana-Kentucky Mission Territory. I guess as a part of this greeting, I'd give you one challenge this weekend, and that would be to find ways as the women of the ELCA in this mission territory to be leaders and raise up leaders in welcoming God's renewal in our midst. How is it, after you go home from this gathering, that you might work in your homes, your congregations, your communities to be those agents of change that invite others to rejoice in the renewal that God brings as well? How might you encourage others to line up their lives with this renewal that God is bringing for the sake of being beacons of light with the good news of what God does in Jesus Christ for us and for the world? I pray for you this weekend as you gather. I hold you in my heart and I'm looking forward to what ministry and mission come out of your gathering together. May God's peace be with you today and always.